Okay, Netgear. That's not easy for a home user. You can make it a lot easier. As I said, maintenance. I'm actually going to do a firmware update right now. It's going to, as you can see, enter loader mode. You do browse. Yay! No, we're going to downloads. Where's my downloads? Downloads, 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 documents, no. This PC downloads here. Yeah, here it is. And apply. One thing I like to do is see this. Oh, too late. Usually I like to see the upload, make sure that I already did the correct upload. Do not interrupt. Okay, we're not interrupting anything. We're just updating. And like I said, remember, this is a very short menu. The only way to get out of here is through, if you press cancel, it won't do anything. You have to do reboot. The If you don't want to, imagine you go into this menu and you don't want to do the, um, the upgrade. The only option is, is the to get out of here is to reboot. <clears throat> then you go back to the normal menu. Okay, if you update your your device, okay, we're not interrupting anything. If you update your device and you end up with the same screen I just have now, and uh, it won't leave this screen. I already set my net I had to set my network on the same network as the default uh, IP address of the device. It's, it was not doing absolutely wasn't doing anything no switch existing look like yes I know because it's just rebooting um, what happened is I did the firmware from the browser and after a while then I thought that's too much uh, for an update you can see here on this graphics you can see the upload I just did uh, I tried to upload the firmware from here again it's still it's still the name here but uh, it wouldn't do so what I did, I grabbed the app, I'm going to do refresh, once in a while, see if it finds it. Okay, now it has the other IP address. Okay, so I'm going to have to get out of this network now. Okay, just going to leave this network right now. Just gonna put this into automatic properties. Automatic, automatic, go, go. Let's get out of here. And from now on, we're going to be able to see. What was it? Was this one? Yes. Let's do a refresh here. Yay! We're back. Okay, Netgear. That's not easy for a home user. You can make it a lot easier. Um, is this with the default password? No, it's the, with the password I had. Yes, it came back with the password I had. Okay. Now we're running the latest firmware. So, what happened? <clears throat> I go through the hassle so you don't have to. I did enter loader mode. I uploaded the firmware from the browser. Everything seemed normal until I got to a point where it said, no, this is your, it was just like here. Right now, this is not refreshing because it already changed the IP address. So I went to a point where I couldn't leave that menu and I couldn't do the upload. So the only way I found was through the configuration utility on my PC, Choose the. Um, let me just do a refresh. Choose the switch. You do apply. That's a login now, but well, whatever. And from here, you could choose the um, the firmware. It was like 
it was like uh, you need a firmware all right i already sent the firmware it's a bit stupid the way something went wrong with the firmware upload i don't know what it, why it was i checked my antivirus if the, the file was locked and it was not locked uh, in any way so i don't know if it was uh, windows defender whatever something very weird happened <laughs> with this firmware update so if you go through this same way i did install this uh, small app and if have, have the firmware on your pc and uh, just choose choose a switch and do the firmware update from here because from here it does from the browser it wasn't working at all and it was stuck in the in the firmware menu so very nice experience for the first time that year hmm. could be a lot easier that was a workaround thank god i found it i didn't have to go to everything else i didn't have to call support or anything so so please consider subscribing and uh, i see you next one thank you very much for watching and uh, have a great day